Hey guys, what's happening? My name is Devin Sears. Welcome to my video vlog, Speak Up or Shut Up. Gonna be keeping you company for a little bit. And on this episode, I'm taking you on a journey. On a journey all the way to Kuru Kubaru. I got it right. Kuru Kubaru. It's an indigenous village that sits to the top of a mountain range there in region 8 one of the most breathtaking scenes and places you can ever find in guyana but there are only two ways to get there either by road which could take one to three days depending on the weather condition and patterns and all these things or you can take an aircraft ride from ogle to kurukubaru which takes like about an hour and 20 minutes getting into kurukubaru we soon realize that there are no taxis no buses no trucks no atvs or anything of that nature that is readily available and the village is about a mile and a half away so what do you do in such a situation you know we're Guyanese we decided to walk but you did not feel the the strain of walking and or hiking or anything like that because you were entertained by beautiful birds the fresh air the beautiful scenery from the mountains we even came across a couple that were heading to their farm uh, which is like about three hours away they were walking to their farm three hours walk and then later on in the afternoon they would head back into the village but all they had with them was a bottle of kerosene their quick a machete and maybe something light to eat but they were walking I mean they, they're very hard-working people heading into the village we were greeted by the Tushao and other villagers and everything they were so excited and happy to see us and that is one of the things I love about indigenous villages the love is always there they come out they greet you hi how you doing you need anything to eat cassava bread castrip anything you want one of my fondest memories at Kurukubaru is having to gather all the villagers there is no loud hailer or microphone or anything like that but the Tushao decided to call the families out by their names look at this Felicia! While in Kurukubari, you'll soon recognize that the villagers are still in touch with their culture, with their heritage, even by the way they live. There are some homes that might have modern amenities with solar and these sort of things, but there are villagers who still live a simple life of having mud blocks or clay houses and, and these sort of things. They still use their native tongue, but embrace English to a large extent. Sad to say at Kurukubaru, or maybe it's a blessing, you are out of touch with the entire world. There is no cell phone service, no landline, but one internet connection that is at a church. And most persons do farming, while others are part of the forestry sector or the gold mining industry. But everybody is seemingly contented with their way of life. Leaving Kurukubaru, I soon recognized that as Guyanese, we need to start appreciating what we have, especially those along the coast. We have infrastructural development, roads, lighting, education, water. But here is an indigenous village that don't have all the amenities, but they still live a happy, happy life. And maybe we can take a page out of the indigenous villages book and try to appreciate more of life and be contented with what we have, but still pursue more, but be contented and humble. Thank you so much for watching another edition of Speak Up or Shut Up. I've been your host, Devin Sears, encouraging you to head across to Facebook and click like on that page. And to the bottom, I need you to share where you would like to travel in Guyana. What's your dream destination in Guyana? Thank you so much. Have a great week. God bless. The matter began to matter. The matter began to matter. The matter began to matter.